So, should we talk about the elephant in the room here? I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't think anyone else could see it. What? I'm, I'm talking about your schizophrenia diagnosis. Right, yeah, that, that makes more sense, actually. What do you keep looking at? Uh, nothing, it's nothing, don't worry about it. If you spell applesauce with just A's, you can call it... Ah! This time you'll have to prepare a lobster. Oh, okay. A sandwich. <laughs> My pet lobster Terry loves his sandwiches. <laughs> Oh, you must be here for this year's annual Being Early competition. No, I'm here for next year's annual Being Early competition. Dear God, he's amazing! Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck? That's why I'm so sick of these I mean, now you, you won't say something to us, man. You won't say something to I don't understand how you won't be he has won all three of the extreme challenges, pushing his physical and mental strength to the max and making himself today's final contestant. If he completes this final extreme challenge, he will win the grand prize of one million dollars. So, are you ready for your final extreme challenge? I got through those buckets of beetles, I'm not backing out now. Is that my laundry? Your last extreme challenge for one million dollars is to fold and put away your laundry. What if I just leave it and take what I need out of it each day? No, you have to put it away in drawers. Look, it's been a really long day and I just want to scroll on my phone. Are you backing out of the challenge? No, I'm... Can I just do it tomorrow? No, the basket of laundry has already been in your room for a week. I promise I'll do it tomorrow. I really mean that. You have five hours to fold and put away the basket of laundry. Your time starts. I give up. Ah, stupid thing. Bro, you good? I'm trying to figure out what IDK stands for. You don't know what IDK means? No. And neither does Google. What do you mean Google doesn't know? Look. What? I know! It's like they're hiding it from me. Hey, well, where are you going? I'm, I'm going away. But we need to solve the mystery. Uh, I don't know why The internet won't tell me. It's stupid. No, you're stupid. Davey, I want you to meet my new boyfriend. Uh, I'm pretty busy right now. Hey champ, how's it going? Cool room. Yeah, whatever. Don't like champ, eh? That's alright. How's about Blue Dragon 72? Blue Dragon 72? I haven't used that name since I was 10. Is that right? Wait a minute. It can't be. Call a juicy, right? I told you I'd bang your mum. Okay, your total is $11.57. Cash or card. Quick, fast food places don't want you to know this one trick. <coughs> Excuse me. I woke up this morning and I, I got a sore throat. And boy, I'm just going to say it, it's a real pain in the neck. I'm so glad he bought us all three. Yeah, I did not expect him to buy all three of us. He must really like pumpkin. You know, I'm just grateful. We all got adopted. Oh, oh there he go, y'all. There he go. Hey there. How you doing? We was just talking about you. We just wanted to say thank you for buying all three of us. It's hard being a pumpkin out here. It yeah. is. It is. And I heard he, I heard him in the car. He said he gonna decorate us, child. Uh -huh. <laughs> decorate. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, give me some Javachi or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. Honey. Yes, baby? I'm about to get the pumpkin in the middle and scramble the guts. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Ah, ah, come get this pumpkin pie. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. He picking me up, there. give us a shot. So what you want me to do? You want me to roll over, bro? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Not your fault. You're right. It's not my fault. It's your fault! What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My, uh, grandma just passed away. I I'm so sorry, man. I, I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 420 p.m. <laughs> Hold up. You're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Hey, Steve, what's your price? What do you mean? Every guy's got a price, you know, a dollar amount it would take for him to, you know what, another man. Oh, I, I have no idea. I've never thought about it. Come on, what, what's your price? Oh my gosh, it's got to be like a billion dollars. Deal, here's a billion dollars. No, I, I meant ten billion dollars. All right, here's ten billion dollars. No, I, I... A deal's a deal, Steve. Don't let me get my lawyer involved. What? Let the jury know that this man agreed the second he named a dollar amount. 
Where'd you come from? I didn't agree to anything. Betty, would you mind rereading the minutes? Bill, what's your price? Steve, ten billion dollars. Bill, okay, deal. Steve, I'm excited to do this. What? That, that's not how it happened. Listen, Steve, we got it in writing, okay? You're either going to make this deal happen, or you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison, where it's going to happen a lot more. Any last requests? No! Very well. Firing squad. Ready. Aim. Oh, stampede! What? Bye! Ah, clever. Never mind. Bring me the brunette. I have nothing to say to you, you evil man. Fine. Firing squad. Ready. Aim. Look, tornado! What? Where? Ha! Bye! Ah, clever again. Okay, bring me the blonde. Oh, I get it. Distractions. Do you have any last requests? No, of course not. Very well. Firing squad. Ready. Aim. Fire! How to fall off a staircase. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 6, step 11, step 16, floor. Daniel, uh, why'd you stop talking to Ryan? He pissed me off. Okay, and? <laughs> Whenever anyone annoys or slightly irritates me, I just pretend they don't exist. Oh, that's not really nice, Daniel. Matter of fact, that's kind of downright rude. Daniel? Daniel? Bro, are you having a stroke? Hello? Oh no. And that was the last time Daniel spoke to me, or even looked at me. Matter of fact, Daniel doesn't speak to anyone anymore. We've all tried to get him to acknowledge us, but it never worked. Some wonder if Daniel can even see us at all. Sometimes he sneezes, but that's all you're gonna really get out I just broke up with my girlfriend, and I just broke six of my ribs. Twice. What? And my son's funeral is tonight, and my wife doesn't know. That you broke six ribs or that your that son? That I killed our son because he's the one that broke Jeez. six of my ribs. F***ing Christ, Joseph. So I just got back from the doctor because I heard this buzzing in my ear. And when I asked him about it, he said not to worry. It's just this bug we've got going around. You have three wishes and you can wish for whatever you want, but there are three rules. You can't kill anyone, you can't ask more wishes, and you can't make anyone fall in love with you. What do you want? I want trees to feel pain. What? They don't have to make noise or anything. I just want to know that they're in pain. There are four rules. Guys, uh, so I haven't been honest with you. I've been keeping a secret, and I thought because we're friends I should come out and say it. I don't actually like Minecraft. <gasps> what? Mate, but what about all the times we played together? I just did a ticket to know you guys. I, I don't care for the game. I actually have a secret I've been keeping from you guys, too. I'm gay. <gasps> what? Dude, why didn't you tell us, man? We don't care. Yeah, in fact, I have a secret I need to share with you, mates. I'm not actually from the UK. Oh. That's it? Why aren't you guys surprised? I, I mean, it, it was pretty obvious, dude. We kind of knew the entire time. Actually, you know, I, I thought you were going to say you were gay, too. What? What makes you say that? Nothing, dude. I just thought. I'm not gay. You know, guys, now that we're starting to reveal our secrets, I feel like I can finally say this. I'm not a guy. Oh, my God. What? No way. I'm a woman. I'm not actually gay. <gasps> what? Wait, so you just lied. Yeah, but after I lied about having a secret, I actually had a secret, which was that I lied about having a secret. I'm not actually black. Okay, and again, that's not a secret. That's, that's just not a secret. Yeah, we can see. Man. We're not blind. I can read minds. No. Yeah, watch. Dead. Balls. Nice. Male Cosby. I'm not gay. I look like a tree. I look like a brain. I look like an umbrella. Yeah, can we change the subject, please? Hello, passengers. Unfortunately, we are having a medical emergency on board. Is there by any chance a doctor? That should have been you. What? They're not asking for a graphic designer to help now, are they? I can we freaking save this for later? There's a dude dying right there. If you care so much, why don't you go save him as a PDF? See if you can save his life. Bob? Chase my dreams. Why me sleep paralysis? Oh, Dave? Oh, I was trying to do a sleep paralysis prank on you. Dave, why can't I move? Well, obviously for the prank to work, I had to paralyze- Oh, shit. I've been trying to write these notes for 30 minutes straight and my pencil keeps breaking. I don't even know why I'm trying anymore. It's pointless. Dad, I accidentally crashed your truck. You did what? Oh, it's... It's okay, it was just an accident. Really? You're not mad? No, I'm not mad. How about we go to the park and play catch? Yeah, let's go. Dad, what park are we going to? We're going to this new one that just opened. We're almost there. Oh, okay. Dad, are we almost there? It's getting really dark and I'm kind of scared. How do you think I'm going to feel when I have to walk back alone? Get back here!
My parents asked me to pick up six cans of Sprite from the grocery store today, and I just got back. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, I think I made a mistake because, well, I, I picked seven up. Ooh, a lamp. Woo, you got three wishes, dude. Yeah, yeah, I want unlimited wishes. Dude, you can't do that. Three is the max. Uh, fine, I wish I could wish for unlimited wishes. Uh, no, your wish is not my command. Have you seen Aladdin? Have you seen these nuts? Just make your wish. Okay, oh, yeah. I wish I could copy and paste the things I touch. Your wish is my command. <sighs> for real? Does my ass. Oh! Paste! Woo! We got three wishes, dude! Son of a riffraff. Hey Siri. What is a good excuse to tell my teacher for not having my homework? Tell them you left it at home. That's why it is called homework and not do it at home and bring it to schoolwork. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a bad host. Can I get you guys something to drink? Oh, please, you're fine. I'll have a water when you get a second. Water? Got it. Dawn, did you want a water or anything? I'll do a root beer float. You can't just go to someone's house and ask them to make you a root beer float. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, I would. I, I just don't have root beer. Oh, okay. It's fine. Uh, I'll just, I'll have a milkshake then. Dude, pick a household drink. I don't know which ones are. What did you get? Water. Water? Okay. Uh, do you have ice? Yeah, I have ice. I'll do a snow cone then. He's not gonna make you a snow cone. I don't know. I have a snow cone machine at my house. I have like 27 a day. You have 27 snow cones a day? I mean, I... Uh, what did you get? Water! I can hear you. Okay, I'm just gonna go home and get my snow cone machine. I'll be right back. Mom, can you shut the fuck up? Does she wait before she beats your ass? I'm confused. Why isn't she? So I made this belt out of watches, right? I thought it was super sick. But then when I went and showed my dad, he thought it was a waste of time. Alright, so what's your superpower? I could perfectly replicate any sound. And how is that useful? I'm very good but like making distractions. Go on. Oh my god, I think someone just broke in. You should go down and check that out. I'm not falling for that. I can hear them taking your stuff. I mean, nice try. But how can you be sure that it's not real? I have the security cameras that can detect unknown faces. No one's down there. They're escaping. This power isn't convincing at all. Yeah, I don't actually have a power to be honest. My friend does though, he can turn invisible. Wait. He's really smart, too. This looks like the perfect time to scream at the top of my fucking lungs. <sighs> oh my god, there's someone in the house. Get down, get down. I can't get down, I'm sorry, I can't do it. What are you saying? He's gonna see us, get down. I can't get down, I'm sorry, I just can't. What are you saying? Just do it. Fine, okay, here I go. Oh my god, were those your knees popping? Yes, they're really loud, I was trying to tell- Oh my god, were those your knees? I literally heard that from downstairs, seriously. I got the money, come on, kill the witness! Did, did you draw a dollar sign on the bag? Yeah, so we know which bag is the money bag. How many bags do we have? One. So wouldn't that be the money bag? What is your problem with my dollar sign? I don't know, maybe I just wanted some class, you know? My gun doesn't have the word gun on it. This whole thing just feels a little goofy now. I can ignore your pretentiousness when we get home, now kill this fool! No, please, I'm not a witness, I'm blind! He says he's blind. Yeah, I'm right here, I heard him. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, I don't know, two? Boom, he's lying. Kill him. Wait, no, that's sheer coincidence. Why would I say the right thing? Just, just do it again. Um, four? Kill him. No, 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 again, coincidence. Please, give me one more try. Both of you, hold up as many fingers as you want. I swear we don't have time for this. Okay, uh, three on your left hand and one on your right and five on your left hand and your right hand isn't up. There's no way I got that right. Oh, come on! Ladies, let me give you a piece of advice. If you're on a date with a man or you're dating a man that just doesn't appreciate fruit jokes, well, you need to let that man go. Mm. Guys, this dip is delicious. Who made this? Oh, uh, which one? Uh, the one that's in this tiny little crock pot plugged into the wall. That's, uh, the, <laughs> that's the Sensi. You're not dipping your chips in that, right? Right. Uh, which dip did you mean then? Me? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't say anything. Okay, but that's not a dip though, and it's not a crock pot. 
Right, yeah, it's, it's just really close to the dip table. What? I'm just worried because it's really close to the dip table. Why is almost all of the melted wax gone? No, I dumped it out. Yeah, I just didn't want people to get confused. Nobody's going to get confused. No, I think somebody, I think some people might be confused about what is and isn't a dip here. Did you get confused? No. What are you doing? This is the pig I've been sleeping with. That's a duck. I wasn't talking to you. Devin, this is for you. A bag? Yep. I love bags. No, no. no but there's something in it. What? Open it. No. Just open it. No, I don't want it. Devin, open the damn Take it out. No, 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 you're going to like it. I swear, just open it. A little bag? See, I told you. You love bags. We no. know. I told you he was going to cry. I want you to get some rest. You got school in the morning, okay? Well, dad, 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 wait. C can you check under my bed for monsters? Come on, man. You know there's no such thing as monsters. Please? Okay, I'll check. This soul will be mine. So there's nothing under there? Nah, 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 nah. There won't, there won't nothing under there. You, you get some sleep, okay? You get some oh, can you check the closet? The closet. There is no. Please, please, can you check the closet? Okay, I'll check. I'll check. Oh, yeah, it's a tag team. I'm going to touch them real good. Nothing's in there? Good night, son. Guy wakes up to a gorilla on his roof. So he Googles and he finds a gorilla removal service. So he calls and the guy says, I'll be there in 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, the guy shows up. He gets out of his van and he's got a ladder, a baseball bat, a shotgun, and a mean old pit bull. And the homeowner says, so what are you going to do? And the guy says, I'm going to set up the ladder. I'm going to go up the ladder. I'm going to knock the gorilla off the roof with the baseball bat. He's going to fall. At that point, the pit bull is trained to grab the gorilla's testicles and he's not going to let go. Then I'm going to take the gorilla. I'm going to put him in a cage, put him in the van and get the hell out of here. And the homeowner says, okay. So the guy gets his stuff. He walks towards the ladder. Just before he goes up, he hands the homeowner a shotgun and the homeowner says, what's this for? And the guy says, in case that gorilla knocks me off the roof, you shoot that fucking dog. Do you know what the word apocalypse means? If not, that's okay. Seriously, don't sweat it. Um, it's not like it's the end of the world or anything like that. All right, class, today we're going to be studying words that end in I-N-G. Anyone want to get us started? Anyone? Napping. Very good, little Susie. Sleeping. Wow, even better, Zane. Great word. Jogging. Very good. Running. Wow. Skipping. Skipping's fun. Jumping. Flying. Soaring. Oh, wow, you guys know a lot of words. Hand gliding. Skydiving. It's much scarier. Why you guys are really smart? Spurlunking. Silver smithing. Stereographing. Circumscribing. Aren't you guys like five years old? Circumcising. What's that? <laughs> you wouldn't know. Disemboweling. Dismembering. Okay, this is turning dark real quickly. Disengaging. Non-threatening. Condescending. Overthinking. Misunderstanding. Forgiving. Enchanting. <laughs> Flushing. <laughs> the fuck? This is the fountain of knowledge. You throw in money, and it'll answer any question. Oh, really? Let me try. What position on a football team throws passes? It gave me a quarterback. Ooh, I want to try. What's the 28th element on the periodic table? It gave me a nickel. Me next. What's the term for a male rabbit? I got a buck. It's amazing. How does the fountain know everything? Hey, you guys realize the fountain's broken and it's just dropping money, right? Shut up. We know the fountain's really magic. Sorry. I was just giving my two cents. Well, you're too late. The fountain did it first. 
This French guy, this British guy, and this guy from Brooklyn are somehow all together in the Amazon rainforest. They end up getting captured by cannibals. The cannibal chief looks at him and says, you are on sacred ground. For this, you must die. We are going to kill you, we are going to skin you, and we're going to use your skin to make canoes. But to show you we're not total savages, we're going to let you pick which way you're going to die. The French guy says, bring me poison. The British guy says, bring me a gun. The guy from Brooklyn says, bring me a fork. All of a sudden, the French guy says, Viva la France, drinks the poison, dies. The British guy says, God save the queen, shoots himself in the head, dies. All of a sudden, the guy from Brooklyn picks up the fork and says, Here, here's your fucking canoe, you cocksucker. Why did you kidnap me? Shall I end him, boss? Kill him. You must not. Wait, what? For he is my only son. Ever since we lost his beloved mother and baby brother in that wretched accident, he's all the family I have left in this dark world. Oh I've been watching him from the shadows for 30 years, gazing proudly as he became a man, waiting for the perfect time to reveal myself to him. That time has finally come. Son? Hey, you want to hear a blonde joke? Before you tell that joke, I think it's only fair that you know five things. First of all, I'm blonde and I'm in a bad mood. Second, the woman sat next to you is blonde and she's an Olympic weightlifter. Third, the bouncer's blonde and he knows taekwondo. Okay. The lady at the back is blonde and she's a professional wrestler. And the manager is blonde and he's the head of a cartel. So ask yourself, do you really want to tell that joke? No, not if I'm gonna have to explain it five times. <laughs> I just miss him so much, man. It's okay, man. He's in a better place now. Hey, guys, what's going on? His dog was killed in a hit and run yesterday. <laughs> I guess you could say his dog is... deceased. Yes, he's dead. Where was the joke there? <laughs> I guess you could say I was... right. Is he okay? Don't worry, he does his thing with everyone. And the thing is, is what he's saying isn't even punny. It's just always true. What year is it? <laughs> Guess you could say it's 2020. What's the passcode to your phone? Guess you could say it's uh, 8351. Well, damn, I wish my girlfriend was honest about that one. True. Guess you could say she's cheating on you. What? Hey, don't worry, man, Th that one came With who? Guess you could say it's uh, Matthew. Is that true? Um, it is! What else are you hiding from me? Guess you could say he, uh, killed your dog. Ooh, ooh, hey, Guess you hey, could say back, I ruined this friend. Craig, you, you tell too many dad jokes. I'm leaving you. Hi, leaving you. I'm Craig. This is, this is what I mean. Damn it, Craig, I'm pregnant. Don't. Hi, pregnant, I'm dad. No, you're not. <laughs> Bro, my wife's so stupid, she bought a $12,000 kitchen and she can't even cook. Dude, my wife's so freaking dumb, she bought a $40,000 car and she can't even drive. Oh, that's nothing, man. My wife bought 100 condoms for a business trip and she doesn't even have a penis. What do you call a D with no eyes? What? No ID. <laughs> what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> My girlfriend told me to put tomato sauce on the shopping list. I did. Now I can't read it. <laughs> How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? How many? Ten tickles. Are you okay? Yeah. I just got accepted to my dream university. That's great news, no? Yeah. You don't seem to be in the mood to celebrate, though. Well, I usually go to my mom with great news, but she passed away last week. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. So, tell me about the uni you just got in. Maybe I can pretend to be your mom for a minute. You do that? Of course. Well, I got a letter from... Just gonna check and see if the house is safe before I go to bed. Hey, are there any stabbers down there? No, it's okay. Okay, good. Okay, for $10 billion, would you... Yes. Um, no, I, I didn't finish the question. I... Listen here. There is nothing. And I mean nothing. That could come out of that little pie hole of yours. To make me turn down 10 billion dollars. Even if one random person had to die? Yes. The answer is yes. Oh. 
Okay, what, what, what if it was someone you knew? Yes, take my aunt, take my grandma. Hell, you could blow the block up. Can you even fathom how much money $10 billion is? Oh, it's just a hypothetical. And if it was a reality, I'd be first in line. You're talking about human lives for for ten billion dollars. What? Would... Hey, 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 hey! Guess what? I don't want to guess. Don't make me guess. Oh come on! You gotta be curious about what I'm going to tell you. What? I would have did it for five. Well, do the math. What's five times five? I, I don't know. Well, then look it up. All right, jeez. Ah! Let's just use my phone. <laughs> Chupapi moon. Uh, give me your phone, this is the best option. Oh, yes, Daddy! Don't tell your mother, double my allowance. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Alright, let, let me let me try something. We're gonna play a game, came up with it, off the dome. Ah, uh, alright. Peekaboo! <laughs> Yo, Dad. Alright, this ain't funny. Dad! I don't understand. We have milk, Dad. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Peekaboo. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> All right, you got me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mom, mom. Yes, honey. When you were gone. Yeah. I saw Dad invite the lady next door. Oh. And they went upstairs and took their clothes. Wait, wait, stop right there. Finish the story at dinner time when everyone sits down, okay? Oh, okay. So, what's for dinner? I'm starving. Honey, was there something you wanted to say? Oh, right. So when mom was out, I saw dad invite the lady next door and they went upstairs and took their clothes off. And what else did they do after that, honey? And they did the same thing that mom and Uncle Jeff do all the time. Dear Diary, I'm starting to think my housemate Tim can hear my thoughts. No, I can't. Dear Diary, I think Tim is really sexy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kill everyone in your family. Stab oh, them. Stab oh, 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 oh. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's violent on his manner already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous. Excuse me. My son asked for Eminem. Um, this is Eminem. No, this is you rapping an Eminem song. Well, maybe Eminem didn't want to come because he heard you were both ungrateful pieces of shit. Just saying. He's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and running and rap bomb. Dad, can I make another wish? Little bit rude. 55, we got 155, 60, 160, 165, 165, we got 165, 155, 155. Why is he talking so fast? I wonder what he's saying. Hold up, man, let me record him in slow mo. 155, go once, go twice, 200, 200, go once, go twice, sold for 200. All right, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for showing up. This antique table is $100, people. $100. That's the number of times I had intercourse with your mother. Yeah, what the hell? When did he say that? Another $50. $150.737249. Those are the US nuclear launch codes. I used to work at Area 51. This is true. Hey, yo, what? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? We easily attained the information. Anybody could have done that. All right, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Oh, and by the way, you, yes, you, recording this? Yeah, I stole your car. Yeah, your dumbass left it unlocked with the keys in it. No! 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 Eric, can you be honest with me? Absolutely. They call me Honest Eric. No one calls you that. I know. I made it up. What's up? Is your mother cheating on me? Dad. I know. I know. I just... You're in your hand. I know. Sometimes I just think... Well, don't think. I know, but... But nothing, Dad. I know. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I know. Just I just nothing. don't know how to really... Like, why would you even ask that? I don't know. I just keep thinking. That's like... a dumb question. I know it is. Mom is not cheating on you. I know. I'm lying. She fucked James. What? I know. You're a sick woman. You were here to meet this 16-year-old boy that was really our undercover agent, Mike. You're going to jail, bitch. Mike, everything you said was a lie? Why are you acting like we're- No, not every- Mike, Mike, you need to shut up. Why are you acting like we're in the wrong right now? 
I can't believe I'm being catfish right now, Mike. How can you say those things and not mean them? Man, what the fuck are you talking about? This isn't catfish. You're a I, I did mean Mike, I, I Mike, did. what the fuck is going on with you, bro? Man, you're going to jail because you're a weird fuck. Mike, we need to talk, bro. On everything I love, we need to Yeah, mate, I made you a cup of tea. Be careful, it's hot. Oh, thanks, mate. Imagine I threw this tea right in his fucking face right now. You right, mate? Yeah, sorry, mate. There you go. Pardon me, sir. Could I get you a refill on your coffee? Oh, sorry. I can't hear you. I'm deaf. Oh, I hear you. <gasps> Look, I am so... So wait, how did you even hear me? Top five worst things that happened to me today. Five, there was a bomb in my house. Four, the bomb was on a timer. Three, the bomb would go off if I tried to tell anybody or call the police. Two, I had to think of a way to indirectly let everyone know it was about to go off. And one, they didn't get John in Beans. Beans? Pens? Beans? One night, this man got down on his knees and he prayed, Dear Lord, I go to work eight hours a day and my wife stay home all day doing nothing. I pray that you switch our bodies so that she can see what I go through all day. So the next morning he woke up, he was in his wife's body. He had to get up and make breakfast early in the morning, get the kids ready for school, took the kids to school on his way back from school. He had to stop and pay a couple bills, stop by the grocery store to grab some things for dinner at night, got home, started making dinner. When they sat down to watch TV up, it was time to pick the kids up, jumped up. When they picked the kids up on the way back home, they were arguing, got home, helped the kids with their homework, finished making dinner, fixed the dinner table, they ate, when they took the kids a bath, put them in the bed, when they had finished cleaning up, when they took a shower, came in the bed, laid down, and was tired, but it was expected to make love, made love without complaining, got down on the knees and said, dear Lord, I pray that you forgive me, I don't know what I was thinking, I apologize, please switch our bodies back, I learned my lesson, the Lord said, yep, I think you learned your lesson, but you gotta wait nine months, you got pregnant last night. <laughs> Shit, that restaurant is packed, man. Yeah, I don't think we should eat here. You wanna fucking go? Are you okay? Oh man, I apologize. I just have this thing where I ask if people wanna leave very aggressively. I can't stop it. Huh. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's nothing. Yo, bro, I just looked what? at this place's menu. It's kind of shit. Do you want to fucking go? Oh, fuck. Dude, 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 relax. It's just something that he unfortunately does whenever he asks if someone wants to leave. Oh. Yo, dudes, the bathroom in that place is broken and I really got a shit. Do you want to fucking go? What's up? Oh, bro, he's got this condition. He, where has, he has this kind uh, of thing. He, yeah, where he, he really says does the... the uh, Do you want to fucking go? Hey man, he's got Don't mind him. Yeah, he's actually... for a <laughs> Why is there an $800,000 charge on my credit card? Dad, I'm a material girl. Get out of my ass! And a man tells his date, I work with animals. And she said, I love a man that cares about animals. Where do you work? And with a grin on his face, he said, I'm a butcher. The other day, my wife asked me, can you pass me my lipstick? And I accidentally passed her the glue stick. She's still not talking to me. Anytime I'm at a wedding, my older relatives will tease me and say, you're next. So I started going up to them at funerals and doing the same thing. I was at my therapist and he said, don't worry, time heals all wounds. So I got up and stabbed him. So the reason why I'm getting a divorce, because when I woke up, it was my birthday. My wife didn't acknowledge my birthday. My son didn't acknowledge my birthday. I went to work. My co-workers didn't acknowledge my birthday. And my manager called me in and said, Mario. I said, fuck. I get in there and she said, happy birthday. I said, oh, thanks. Then she said, you wanna get some lunch? And I was like, okay. And then she was like, you wanna go back to my place? And I was like, all right. So I went back to her place and she was like, let me step in my room, I'll be right back. She got back five minutes later and my kids, my co-workers, my wife, was all there to say happy birthday with a cake, and I was on the couch butt naked. Bro, my wife's so stupid, she bought a $12,000 kitchen and she can't even cook. Dude, my wife's so freaking dumb, she bought a $40,000 car and she can't even drive. Oh, that's nothing, man. My wife bought 100 condoms for a business trip and she doesn't even have a penis. <laughs>
Hi, Mommy. Hey, sweetie. Can I talk to your dad? He's not answering his phone. He's busy with his friend Susie. But he doesn't have a friend named Susie. Yes, he does. They're upstairs in the bedroom right now. Okay, honey. I need you to go near the bedroom and shout, Mommy's car just pulled in the driveway and then come back. Okay. I can't believe it. Okay, I did it. What happened? Dad got really scared, started running around, and tripped and hit his head, and now he's not moving. What about Susie? She also got scared, jumped out the window into the swimming pool, but the pool had no water, so she's not moving either. Wait a minute. My house doesn't have a pool. Wait, is this the right number? Oh, great heavens! You! <laughs> have you ever heard of a mountain chicken? Please don't hurt me. Have you ever heard of a mountain chicken? No. What do you think it looks like? Like a really big chicken? That's what I thought, but no, it's this motherfucker. Three of the hardest things for people to say, I was wrong, I need help, and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Do not make any sudden movements. Do not reach for that gun on that table, because I know you're tempted. And if you comply, I will not harm you. Then, then I'll comply. Okay, all right, that's good. That's especially good for you because, I mean, my aim and my reflexes are impeccable. Must, must, have, must have been a draft. There's no windows in here. Some sort it's of... It's not even windy out there. Paranormal today. activity. I know you reached for the gun, man. That's not true. Who do you think you're dealing with, okay? My mom told me. My dad owns Microsoft. Your family will never... Ah! talk about what that was I had, had a seizure oh my god here we go with the lies again you didn't have a seizure all right i saw something behind you oh come on you couldn't even see behind me what are you talking I about i was just stop lying handing you the gun handing me the gun you were pulling the trigger you you were you trying god, to shoot me you were trying to hands. kill me why, why do i even put up with it you're just my like so good. Me. i was on a bus yesterday when i suddenly realized i had to pass gas the music was really loud so i tried to time my farts with the beats After a couple songs, I started to feel better until I looked up and realized everybody was looking at me. Then I remembered I was listening to music through my headphones. I'm never riding this bus again. This 80-year-old man went to the doctor to get his checkup, and he went in, and the doctor checked him from top to bottom. He says, man, are you be 80-year-old? You got a body of a 40-year-old and the stamina of a 25-year-old. He says, how do you do it? Well, the old man said, I believe it's because I have such a close relationship with the good Lord above. The doctor looked at him and said, what do you mean? He said, well, every night when I get up to go pee, good Lord turns the light on for me. I don't even have to do it. The doctor says, hmm, well, give me just a minute. He walks out in the lobby and talks to the old man's wife. He said, listen, your husband is in great shape, but I've got one thing I'm worried about. He said that every night when he gets up to go pee, the good Lord turns the light on for him. Well, she put her head down and she said, well, that explains who's been pissing in the refrigerator. Can you show us where the candy land is? It's really right behind you. Are you stupid? Why are you looking at me like that? You got a staring okay, problem? Bro, obviously he's right behind us. We're not stupid. So what took you so long to answer? Because it's just for little kids. Yeah? If I was a kid, I would have found that in the same time anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're a grown-ass man watching Dora the Explorer. So? Explore. What, what are you, you doing? What? You're playing this Dora the Explorer. Okay, I'm making bank. I'm making money doing this shit. What are you doing? You're on your couch doing nothing. Oh, okay. You're okay. doing you nothing. You want to this right now? You want to stop this? Hey, son. You want to throw hands on the TV? You want to throw hands on the TV? What's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris, find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Paul, just calm down. Oh, God, oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did, it's not there. Oh, Sweet, does it have God. a name? What can oh, we call it? Man. Oh, God. Fred, okay, oh, man. Fred. Fred, oh, Fred. Give me God. Fred. Oh, man, oh, God, oh, Fred. man. We finally found Fred, and we managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. Hey babe, the kids won't eat these brown bananas. Throw them out! Why? Because mommy doesn't love you. What the f- Yo, bro, what's dark humor? You see that blind man over there? Wave at him. Hey, Dad. What? Say I'm a man after everything I say. Why? Just do it. Fine. You broke up with Mom. I'm a man. You decided to get drunk. I'm a man. 
You went to a bar. I'm a man. You found a hot girl there. I'm a man. You invited her back to your house and she said yes. I'm a man. You both went upstairs. I'm a man. You slept together. I'm a man. You woke up in the morning. I'm a man. You realize she's still there. I'm a man. She turns around and say, I'm a man. Oh, great heavens! Excuse me, sister, please can I hide under your skirt? I'll explain later. Yes, of course you can, my son. Quickly. Sister, have you seen a soldier running past here? Yes, soldier. He went that way. Thank you. Let's get him. Oh, thank you so much, sister. You see, I don't want to go into battle and they're forcing me to be here. Oh, it's okay. I understand completely. I hope I'm not being rude, but you have a great pair of legs. Well, if you looked a little high, you would have seen a great pair of balls as well. Wait, sorry? I don't want to go into battle either. This is someone being robbed by an easily exhausted criminal. Hi, I'm reporting an enter and break. You mean a break and enter? No, uh, he had to stop to catch his breath after he came in. Yeah, I see you. Listen, man, I, please don't hurt me. All the valuables are upstairs. Where, where, where are you going? So, this kid falls in love with a beautiful girl. He goes to his dad. He says, Dad, I think I'm in love. I just met the greatest girl. And the dad goes, well, great. Who is it? He said, well, you know our neighbor's daughter, Susan, from up the street? Yeah, it's her. The dad goes, wish you hadn't said that. Um, don't tell your mom, but she's actually your sister. And so the kid can't date her and is naturally bummed out until a couple months later he goes back to his dad even more excited. He says, Dad, I found a better girl. I'm in love. She's prettier. She's funnier. She's smart. We just, we, we, just, we click. And the dad goes, well, that's great, son. Who is it? He says, it's our neighbor's daughter, Angela, from up the street. And the dad says, okay, well, um, here's the thing. She's your sister, too, so you can't date her. And the kid's pissed off at this point. This happens five or six more times. And he goes to his mom crying. He says, Mom, I can't date anyone because whoever I pick is dad's daughter, which makes them my sister. And the mom hugs her son and she says, oh, you could date whoever you want. Don't worry, he's not your father. And your total is $2.20. Here's $3. Would you like to round up to the nearest dollar to buy kids with diabetes? Um, sure, why not? Well, 80 cents gives you three minutes. Wait, what? Okay, would you like a ruler? My shoe? This iron? I guess I'll take the shoe. Come here, Jimmy. Are you gay? No. Do your mama know you gay? <laughs> no. Wait. Fuck. Motherfucker. If I say no, then I'm gay. Got it. Yes. Fuck. Nobody was hurt in the recent bank robbery. The bank robber said, stay still and nobody gets hurt. Nobody ran. And nobody got shot in the head. Nobody survived, but he suffered brain damage. Now nobody only speaks in third person. Nobody wishes he had a normal name. One day, a husband calls his wife, but his daughter answered. Hello? Hey, honey. This is Daddy. Is Mommy near the phone? No, Daddy. She's upstairs in the bedroom with Uncle Paul. But, honey, you don't have an Uncle Paul. Oh, yes, I do, and he's upstairs in the bedroom with Mommy right now. Uh, okay, honey. This is what I'm going to need you to do. Put the phone down, run upstairs, and knock on the bedroom door. And shout to Mommy that Daddy's car just pulled into the driveway. Okay, Daddy. Just a minute. A few minutes later, the little girl comes back on the phone. I did it, Daddy. And what happened, honey? Well, mommy got scared, jumped out of bed, started running around, she tripped, hit her head, and now she isn't moving. Oh my god, what about your Uncle Paul? He also got scared, tried to jump out of the back window into the swimming pool, but he didn't know that you took out the water last week to clean it. He hit the bottom of the pool, and I think he's dead. After a long pause, the dad says, Swimming pool? Wait, is this 3517381? Makes literally no sense. Why is our own body always sabotaging us? Oh, you're sad and stressed? Have some acne. Oh, you don't exercise enough? Knee pain. You exercise too much? Knee pain. Didn't sleep enough? You're tired. Slept too much? You're tired. You can't win! What do you want to do with your life? I want to get married and have a beautiful family. I want to go back to college and become a lawyer. I want to eat a whole bag of wasps. I want to open my own business. Did the last guy say he wants to eat wasps? I want to save up enough money and travel the world. Imagine soup, right? But full of ants. Ants? What does he want? Uh, oh, um, uh, I, I want to be a... Uh, I forget. I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, but if I'm hungry, I'll have a few. I want to be a... Hang on. How did I get here? Where am I? I had a massive tapeworm inside me, and it, it got cancer and died. <laughs> Millipedes? Oh, no, ooh. But centipedes? I don't know where I am. Please send me. <laughs> I'm literally starving. <laughs> well, you're not literally starving. No, bro, like, I'm literally dying. <laughs> I get that, but you're not, like, actually dying. Oh my god!
911, what is your emergency? Well, my friend is just on the ground. He didn't tell you he was literally starving, did he? <laughs> well, he did! I didn't know! Why did you let this happen? <laughs> I didn't know! I'm so sorry! Yo, your mom just texted you. What did she say? A chong ching ling ping pong pang ling ling. Very funny, Kyle. Let me see that. What the hell? I hate you! Oh! Well, next time, don't steal my Monopoly! Ariana, give James your $200 you landed on his property. No! He's in jail! I'm not gonna give money to a criminal! That's not how you... Pie! Mommy, why is brother screaming? Shut the f*** up, Sally! You don't get to talk after stealing my last railroad! I wish I was never born! Me too! You think I wanted this? Okay, guys, please make sure to put your phones on airplane mode at this time. We don't want any accidents happening. Fuck that. We all know that doesn't actually do anything. Mayday! Mayday! We're going down! Okay, who the fuck did to put their phone on airplane mode? Bro, what the fuck? Hey, man. What you watching? Oh, <laughs> I'm just watching Dora. <laughs> you still watch this show? This show's for babies. <laughs> Is that part of the show? Well, I've seen her look in the camera before. Dude, where did she go? Well, it looks like she's coming for you. I think that's her right now. Oh yeah! Sardora! Yo, I've been talking to Ashley for a couple of weeks and I think I'm ready to ask her out. I mean, yeah, that's cool that you want to go out with her, but I heard she only likes guys with blonde hair. Like... Bro, I'm, I'm just chilling. Nah, I'm like, how are you gonna change your entire self? For a girl, bro, like, bro, she has a twin sister. See, that's a different story. That's See, what I'm trying to say. Hello, sir. Is everything okay? Your wife, um, here, it's better if we... Your wife just passed away, hit by a truck, to smashed her face. Say what if you got no bae? What? Hey, now put your hands in the air if you got no family. Is this for real? We're very sorry for your loss, sir. <laughs> Hey man, what you doing? Oh, I'm just shooting a video for school. Oh, I guess I'll start shooting too. That's totally fine with me. Why would you do that? We spent 45 minutes building that shit, dude. Hello friend, I'm your genie. You have three wishes, go. I wish that every time somebody said, I don't understand, they would shit out a copy of Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on PS2. That's, that's like, Weirdly specific. You've thought about this before, haven't you? Are you gonna grant the wish or what? Fine. But I gotta tell you, I don't understand. Ugh. 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 Ow! You're a horrible person. Alright, so for my next- No! No more wishes, you're done! What? Why? I don't understand. Oh, man, who's this? Oh, hey, this is Jimmy. Uh, he's a little socially awkward, but he's a good guy. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Likewise, how's your day? Honestly, uh, it's, it's not too good. My mom just passed away, so. Bruh. <gasps> Jimmy, what the hell? Oh my, are you serious? Come on, guys. That was not the right moment to do that, Jimmy. But his mom died. That's a bra moment. <gasps> oh my God. Wow, Jimmy. How dare you? Jimmy, you need to apologize right now. Oh, hell now. no. You guys are sensitive as hey, hell. Hey, asshole, she fell off a cliff, man. Yeah, and she should have had feather falling. <laughs> what? Jimmy, take it back. No, that's funny. Take that's funny. How did you Jimmy, say that? Put the word back in your mouth, Jimmy. Oh, I'm not that. I'm calling 911. Is that too much? Is that too much for you? Would you rather have 30 million dollars or 30 million loyal friends? Easy. 30 million loyal friends. Really? Why? Because I can just ask them all to give me one dollar each, and since they're loyal, they'll give it to me. Oh, I never thought about that. Then, I can run for president, and boom, I already have 30 million votes. Jeez, that's smart. Then, I can start a business like an ice cream shop, and I'll already have 30 million loyal customers. Wow, you've really thought this through, haven't you? Then I could charge them $3 a scoop, and tell all of them to buy one scoop a day, so that's $90 million a day. Hey, what's up, Brody? I'm a one-wish genie with no rules. Uh, so what do you want? <laughs> oh, sick. Um, could you make me into Batman? Like, I want to be back. Boom, already done. Like, you're all set. Okay, uh, I don't... I, I don't feel any different. Like, am I supposed to... Mm -hmm. Oh! Whoa. Oh, shit. Mom! Uh, Dad! Uh, what? What? <laughs> so my mom decided to visit me, but the problem is my roommate's a girl. So she came over for dinner and she wouldn't stop talking about how pretty my roommate was. 
Throughout the course of the dinner, she's like really observing me and the roommate. And I can see that she's kind of getting suspicious about it. So me noticing this, I'm like, Ma, I know what you're thinking, but I can assure you we're just roommates. Anyways, the dinner passes and about a week later, my roommate comes up to me and was like, ever since your mother came for dinner, I haven't been able to find any of the silver plates. She said, now nah, I'm not saying that she took it, but do you think she took it? I'm like, nah, I don't think so, but I could text her and ask. I text her and I said, Ma, I'm not saying that you did take the silver plates from my house, but I'm also not saying that you didn't take them. But the fact of the matter is they've been missing ever since you came. She texted me back about 30 minutes later and she said, I'm not saying you do sleep with your roommate, but I'm not saying you don't. But the fact of the matter is, if she was sleeping on her own bed, she'd notice them under her pillow. Happy birthday! Oh, this is the surprise. I, I thought you had friends. There's nobody here. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just too busy having social anxiety to try to get any. Insensitive much? I see. You know, I guess I would know something about insensitive people, considering I was bullied since the age of four. Oh, since four? Try birth. The only thing I've had since birth is crippling depression. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, what? I was too busy thinking about how my parents died in a car crash. Yeah, broke three ribs in my leg. Well, at least you have legs. Oh, well, at least you have arms. Well, at least you have a sense of direction. Well, at least you have a body. Well, at least you have a soul. Well, at least you have a life. Damn it. You win this time. Hey, buddy, could you help me? I dropped my phone. I can't, sir. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> I lost my legs and feet fighting for this country and for you. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know about the agony of your defeat. Hey, dude, you want to play hide and seek? I hate hide and seek. Never again. When I was a kid, my dad asked me if I wanted to play hide and seek. And of course, I said yes. He told me to close my eyes and count to three, so I did. And when I opened them, I started seeking. I was seeking for hours. Then hours turned to days, and days turned to months, and months turned to years. Dad! So yeah, part of me thinks we're still playing, or he abandoned me. Yeah, I think he left you, man. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I was here the whole time! Ah! What the fuck? <sighs> you got a fat ass. Cut. Jimmy, your line is, I love you. Okay, got it. All right, and... Action. God damn, I love that ass. Cut. Okay, why the fuck do you keep saying that? Why the fuck is my co-star so thick? Just please say your line. It's literally your only line in the movie. Won't happen again. And action. I love you. And that ass. Get out. Okay. Get the fuck out! What you're going to do now is subtract two. Just like how my ex-wife divorced me and took custody of our two kids. I hate this Please class so much. Days. Seriously, dude, I wish something interesting would happen. Same. Hello and welcome to the Mental Health Hotline. If you are obsessive compulsive, press 1 repeatedly. If you are codependent, ask someone to press 2 for you. If you have multiple personalities, press 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you are paranoid, we know what you are and what you want. Stay on the line and we'll trace your call. If you're delusional, press 7 and your call will be transferred to the mothership. If you are schizophrenic, listen carefully and a small voice will tell you which number to press. If you are depressive, it doesn't matter which number you press, no one will answer you. If you are dyslexic, press 69696969. If you have a nervous disorder, please fidget with the hash key until the beep. After the beep, please wait for the beep. If you have a short-term memory loss, please try your call again later. And if you have low self-esteem, hang up. All our operators are too busy to talk. Would you rather fight a chicken to death every time you got into your car? Or an orangutan to death once a year? but you get a sword. Sir, we make questions about the job. Oh, okay. That'll be 12.50. All right. Thank you. Whoa. Huh? You look like you're checking out my card there. Oh, <laughs> it's our new protocol. <laughs> okay. What, what are you doing? I don't need you staring at my car like that. Are you trying to memorize the numbers? What's that? Sir, I'm simply just identifying which bank this is connected to. I, I don't know what to believe. Are you writing them down? I would do no such thing. I want to speak to a manager right now. Are you taking photos? <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, oh my god. Three friends stranded on a deserted island find a magic lamp. Inside it is a genie who agrees to give each friend one wish. I wish to go home, says the first friend, the genie grants his wish. I wish to go home too, says the second friend, and the genie sends him back home. I'm lonely, says the third friend. I sure wish my friends were back here. Hey, did you hear the news about the doctor? What doctor? Guess. 
Uh, Doctor Strange? Nope. Doctor Who? Nope, not him. The doctor who did my prostate exam yesterday and told me I have two weeks to live? No, not, not that doctor. All oh, the anticipation's killing me more than the sting of my prostate. Just tell me who it is. Uh, Dr. Pepper is releasing a cream soda. Oh, that's awesome. When's it come out? Uh, three weeks. Hey, wake up, this is a kidnapping. What? what? Where are we going? I'm so excited. You think this is funny? You're never gonna see your parents again. But I don't have parents. Yeah, that's a... Oh. Are you gonna adopt me? Oh. Uh, Can I call you dad? I'm gonna leave. Dad, where are you going? Stop calling me dad. Poppy? What the fuck? So you want one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? More than anything in the world. Okay, now if you want one of these, you're gonna have to talk to one of these. Holy sh! what the hell is that? No, Buddy, it's no, the same no. guy. Get it the fuck out of my house. Being a baby is so boring, bro. Like, all I do is poop and cry all day. What else am I supposed to be doing? Oh, there's my boy. Huh? Oh, snap. It's my dad. This is no Why does he have his hands on his head? Peekaboo. Hey, yo, am I tripping? Because I promise you was supposed to be. Peekaboo. <laughs> hey, that one kind of got me. And that's why parents are the best. Am I right? Who here disagrees? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. But why? Because this is a fucking orphanage. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to head out. Hey, Dad, want to race? I bet I could beat you. All right, let's run it up. Okay, the finish line is that tree over there. Hmm, okay. All right, ready, set. Go! Oh, damn it, you won! Dad, you won! Dad? Pardon me, ma'am, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I just can't scan the menu because I don't have any arms. Oh, that's no problem, I'll give you a hand. I am so so- Ow! Hey, wait a minute. Yes, son? What is an alcoholic? Uh, it's somebody who drinks a lot of poison and it tends to mess up their mind. Like you see those four cars over there? An alcoholic would see eight. But dad, there's only two. Mom? Hi, uh, I'm just here to check in. Oh, that's really nice of you. Yeah, uh, said I, it said I could check in at 11. Hey, you could check in whenever. I always appreciate the thought. Okay, great. So I'm, I'm doing all right. You know, the whole hamster thing has been kind of frustrating, but the hamster thing? Oh, I have a hamster that got out of his cage and into my walls. I know he's in the walls because I hear him in there all night goofing around. And I know he knows how to get out because I leave out food and it's gone every day when I get home, so... He knows what he's doing. Uh, I don't blame him though. Sometimes I wish I could be in those walls with him, roaming around on all fours, only coming out for snack time. <laughs> Probably a simple life, but that's pretty much it. I meant I'm here to check into my room. I, I booked a room online. Oh, um, sorry, it's my, it's my first day. Oh, here, let me get my manager. Hi, sir, how can I help you? I'm just here to check in. Oh, uh, I'm doing all right. Okay. I'm so glad we could finally hang out today. Aw, you're so sweet. It's so, can I tell you something? Yeah, what's up? I really like you. Aw, me too. Wait, really? Yeah. As a friend. Actually, as a best friend. A brother. Mm, no, my dad. Are you okay? Where am I? You're in the friend zone, my guy. No! You're one of us now. I've been here for 13 years. No! Hi, I'd like to cancel my membership. Why? I just don't really need it anymore. We're sorry to see you go. Can you specify? I'm on a budget. Would you like to look at our plans for people on a budget? You can get the entire thing for 50% off of what you're paying right now. That was available this whole time. We'll also give you two free months. What do you say? I still want to cancel. If you stay, we'll let you keep your plan for one dollar a month. How is that profitable? And if you stay, I'll give you a free gift too. What do you say? I still don't want it. Completely free. 
It's completely free if you stay. Did you see him? I don't know. I'll pay you. I'll pay you if you stay. Don't leave me! Hey, you okay? It's my ex, Darren. He keeps just appearing out of nowhere. My ex keeps throwing plastic water bottles at my head and shouting, Recycle that, bitch! Recycle that, bitch! Why, why is that a thing? She's an environmentalist. And I also said that dating her was rubbish. Ooh, so. that burns. Like my love for you, Sarah. Darren, will you fuck off? What do you even want with Earth anyways? I plan to rebuild this planet. Bring back the thriving ecosystem that once was and return the extinct animals back to their lands. And freedom, true freedom, for all people. Wait a minute, what? Why have we been fighting? That, that sounds amazing. We, oh, we're the heroes of this planet. We want to accomplish the same thing. So, like, maybe we team up. Like, well, the first step is to get rid of all minorities. Okay, there it is. There it is. I knew there was something. But, you know, you had me with the plan. The execution needs a little bit of work. Okay, I don't, I don't really understand the relation between extinct animals and minorities. They I don't relate. They relate. No, they don't. They do. I thought you said you wanted all people to be free. Freedom from minorities, yes. Okay, yeah, now, now everything is starting to make sense. That's why his name is Color Correction. It wasn't clicking before, but but now it is. And the, the M on your chest with the X in it, I, I was like, his name starts with a C. Why does he have an M on his chest? But it means no minorities. No minorities. Right? Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna have to fucking kill you. So you know how women get pregnant? Yes, dude, I, I know how babies are made. What? No, no, not that. Oh. So you know how in the late stages of development of a child, they usually kick around and stuff like that, right? Go on. So, the baby is kicking a pregnant woman. I mean, yeah, if you put it like that. But when I do it, everybody just gets mad at me and now the police are after me. What did you do? Exactly what the baby did. What? Dude, this world is full of hypocrisy. No, it's full of crazy people like you. I got the guy who killed your son, boss. Boss, I'm sorry, but you said kill him, and then you said you must not. It could have happened to anyone. You're right. Shut up. Should I finish this, boss? And his life. No, wait. Ooh. Slowly. Wait, what? I want him to feel every cut, every punch, every blow. I want it to take weeks, no, months. I want him to pray for the sweet release of death. He was right, it can't happen to anyone. Avenging my only son is all I care about. All I live for, all that remains, all that matters. Now? Are you ready for pain? Stop pronouncing the T when you speak English. Don't say identify, say identify. Omeo, poeo, e, o, al. Do e a u. Hey, Mr. Phillips, it's Dr. Rection calling about your diagnosis. Okay, but make it quick, Doc. I don't have much time. Who told you? Three dinosaurs are searching for food when they find a magic lamp. They rub it and a genie appears. The genie says, since there are three of you, you each get one wish. The first dinosaur says, I want meat. So he gets a piece of meat. The second dinosaur wants to one-up him. So he says, I want uh, a meat shower. So he gets a shower of meat. The third dinosaur wants to one-up that. So he says, I want uh, a meteor shower. And that's the dinosaurs went extinct. An atheist is taking a walk in the woods when he sees a bear run at him. He screams, God help me. Then the world freezes, and he hears a voice. You deny my existence for years, but only now you wish for my help. The man says, I believe in you. It's too late to make me Christian, I know, but could you make that bear Christian? God says, very well. Time resumes, and the bear stops next to him. Then the bear says, Lord, bless this food which I am about to eat. I can really f*** your son right there if you don't give him the password. D Dad? See, if you pull that trigger, right? Then you'll wake up a version of me that you will not want to meet. I don't care. Dad! No, just wait. What are you... Are you sure you want to create a man who has nothing to lose? Dad, what are you... Wait, are you just reading threatening quotes? Um, g God has... <clears throat> God is in the live another day. And I'll make it your problem. <laughs> Alright, kid, I try my best. Tell him the bathroom, you literal motherfucker! Stop pronouncing the T when you speak English. Don't say identify. Say identify. Stop that. Someone! Wait. <laughs> Wee! 2022. <laughs> I am a genie. You have three wishes. Wow! I have the perfect wish. So this is my girlfriend and she's blind, but we've been together a long time and I just wish she could see the world. So I wish my girlfriend could see.
You know what? That's a pretty good wish. Done. Wow! Well, wait, Gabe? That's what you look like? <laughs> you are not my type. Ooh, he's cute though. What's your name? Hi, I'm the genie. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing later? So for those of you that don't know, I've been reading this book on anti-gravity and it's, it's really good. I must say, I just, I can't even put it down. Everybody down, this is a stick up. Hey boss, this old lady isn't getting down. Take her out. But boss, she's just an old lady. I said take her out. I'm having a wonderful time. Sir, what about this kid? Take him out. Wee. Boss, what about this baby? Take him out. I'm the baby. Ah, stupid thing! Bro, you good? I'm trying to figure out what IDK stands for. You don't know what IDK means? No. And neither does Google. What do you mean Google doesn't know? Look. What? I know! It's like they're hiding it from me. Hey, well, where are you going? I'm, I'm going away. But we need to solve the mystery. Uh, I don't know either. The internet won't tell me. It's stupid. No, you're stupid. Alright, son. Is this your card? <laughs> uh, no, Dad. That's, that's, that's not my card. <laughs> <laughs> check your phone, son. Ch ch check my phone. Your adopt. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Does mom know? Did you guys not know all along? A young boy enters a barber shop, and the barber whispers to his customer, "This is the dumbest kid in the world. Watch while I prove it to you." The barber puts a dollar in one hand, two quarters in the other, and calls the boy over and asks, "Which one do you want?" The young boy takes the quarters and leaves. The barber tells his customer, What did I tell you? That kid never learns. The customer leaves and sees the same young boy walking out the ice cream store. He walks up to the young boy and asks him, Why did you take the quarters instead of the dollar bill? The young boy looks at him, smiles and says, Because the day I take the dollar bill, the game is over. What is C for? C4, C4 is a fucking explosive. Free workout. No, what is C for? It's a letter. C is for cock. Um, what's, what's your cock? costume? Oh Cookie monster. What is C for? Oh. Cookies. I have the heart of a lion. No, you don't. You're such a cat. Oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, and a lifetime ban from the zoo. How did you get that? Pardon me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Oh, <laughs> he can't talk. He's mute. Oh, sorry. Tell me about it. <laughs> <gasps> so tell me, what are you afraid of? I know it's a little strange, but I'm afraid of letters. Letters? Yeah. Are you? Oh. I see. <laughs> oh my god, my donkey just died. Wait, deadass? That's not fucking funny. 